Y'all, welcome to another episode of Horrible Decisions where I may be a pussy asshole this episode because a bitch kind of scared. Um, but y'all, it's your girl Mandy B. Hi, y'all. I'm Wheezy. We've got a guest in the building, which very confusing to me. Wearing red, then there's blue. Is <laughs> this, this is, is this it, burgundy? It's getting burgundy. Is it set tripping? What's going on? It's like maroon. <laughs> It's maroon, okay. blue, red, but that's how glasses do it. Yo, we do. are joined by Glasses Malone sure in the building, true West Coast fashion. So they say. So um, they say. and yeah, we off off camera started talking about gangs, and um, I'm hoping we don't really have to spend that much time there because. I'd be scared. I don't be like like literally just went on a date and a nigga was like, yeah, because you know I, I pulled up. I'm glad I'm in New York where niggas can't carry heat. That's all I'm going to say. I feel really safe here. And Ooh. that's where I'm at. I'm not the one who, like Wheezy, wants to fuck a nigga with a gun under the pillow. I'm just not Let that. me just explain. We're from Florida. <laughs> and you're not necessarily meeting men that are in, like, okay, bigger cities, right? L.A., New York, LA, whatever. You meet niggas with good jobs. If you making a lot of money in Florida, like, you need to have a gun. So that's why I felt safer because I was dating lit niggas and I needed them to protect me. I want to know, um, so you're a grip. Sure. And so when you date women, like, do they have to have certain attributes to them that are like, okay, you can fuck with a nigga like Not you? what is the attribute of a woman to date a crip? This is where we're starting this week's or episode. Or dating a man that's in a gang or that's gangster, like. I mean, nah, not really. Um, some niggas like, some men like women that have nothing to do with their life and some like them rough. I prefer a mix. <laughs> what's, I mean, what's a mix? Well, because I read, too. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> This nigga said, I open books. No, that's because okay. if you, you read... You know what that sound like I, to me? You been to jail? Yeah, once or twice. But not prison. I've never okay, been to prison. Okay, okay, okay. i never been to prison. So jail is just the holding, right? So county, like, jail county is just the county. Yeah, since, a year or less fight a case. That was only a few days. I was about to say, I only had seven hours. And that's not bad. They were really nice to me. They brought me... Like fucking fruit. crackers yeah. and all that they shit. They had fruit? I, I didn't have fruit. I, when I got like yeah, the bequeeths, oh, the lieutenant came over, let me use his phone. That's how I got to call you. I think I did I Instagram you. I DM'd you, right? By the way, if anyone has Patreon, <laughs> Mandy the, the, literally called me. We're on. No, no, no. It wasn't on camera. I went no, to get it you started. No, wasn't Starbucks. on camera. I'll get back in the car and Wolf and is I, sitting there doing <laughs> BTS. He's like, what's up, Weezy? I said, well, Mandy's in jail. We won't be recording today. Literally, I had to call her. What'd like, you go to jail but, for? But let me tell you real quick. Beating up some nail lady. I didn't beat her up. I protected my friend who was getting fought by the nail text because she didn't want to pay the full price. Nonetheless, let me tell you how crazy it was. So I'm in jail like, bruh, I'm waiting. I don't know. They haven't taken my pictures yet. Um, <laughs> haven't taken my fingerprints, but I'm still here. Here go, Weezy. So about how long? Are you going to make it to the recording? Are we recording today at all? Or I said, bitch, I am in, you jail. in jail. While I'm in jail. Savage, this bitch was girl. like, but are you going to make it? Because there's no one else booking tonight. So I can stay here. You're gonna make it. No, because she <laughs> said I'm an arrested. But I'm, I was like, I'm in jail, bro. Oh, I want to hear jail. I think I heard arrested. So when she said that, I was like, so jail well, and arrested don't go together. I was, I was like, maybe she's fighting with I, somebody No, right I was now. in the holding cell. So maybe I didn't call it jail. That's but I said jail? I've been arrested. Yeah. I'm behind bars. No, did, you, you did you get out and do the episode? <laughs> no, uh, you said what? Did you get out and do the episode? No, nigga, I didn't get out till like fucking 11. I was upset. It took you that long? I was <laughs> upset. He was waiting. Bro, you I know why angry. I was upset? I had dick to get, flew to New York for this. Yeah. I remember when I called him back too, he was laughing so hard. He was like, this ain't even a Mandy thing. This is a you thing. <laughs> if anybody was going to guess the podcaster of the two that was going to end up arrested, bitch, it wasn't It her. wasn't going to be you me. You fly for penis? What? You were fly from... I just heard that. Oh, oh, oh. I was in L.A. fucking a nigga and flew to New York to record. But, um, yeah. At this moment in my I life, I'm a little now. too busy. They better come fly to me. I want the dick to fly to me. I think it's going to make the dick seem better. If a nigga just hop on a flight because he coming just to see me, I just... I'm going to feel like I have to make more love to the dick. When I was in my 20s, I used to get flewed out. I've been flewed out. I literally took, like, a five-hour flight to be somewhere for 10 hours and fly back. Like, I was flying the same amount of just time I was... Fuck? Just the fuck. That's how scarce good dick is. Oh, my God. I'm embarrassed now, but now I'm too busy as well. But, yeah, I did it just just for sex. That's crazy. I was just telling somebody I wouldn't fly a girl anywhere. Like Oh, anywhere. God. What? No, Why? just Why? because, like, so Why? this is 15 years as a professional in this in this rap stuff, right? Signing the cash money. When I would go to Japan, why would I fly a bitch from Hawthorne to Japan? It's Japanese bitches there. Okay. I mean, what's, here's the thing, What's though. more of a floss? What's more of a floss? Like, in Japan, fucking Japanese women, or in Germany, fucking German women, 
or fly somebody from around but the I corner. don't think it's more of a floss. I think it's they a want more, the experience I, I think with their person. It's not even the experience because, bitch, I was never with these niggas. Like, to me, it's more of a, I know. A sure I, thing. It's a sure thing. Not only a sure thing, but when it comes to sex, like, I know that there's certain people that I know I'm going to have a good ass time. We gonna fuck. We gonna enjoy each other's company. That's what like, I meant by with that person. Like, I don't like, mean relationship. I mean you a fly, but that's crazy. I wouldn't fly anybody for that. Like you could just meet somebody there. So just say you that's had some good pussy. That's crazy. Because that's, that's what it is. That's not if you don't have some good pussy where you actually vibe with a woman, because you 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 not even wanting to like be with her, but just that you know it's good. Y'all have a connection that you're not gonna get from a rando. Especially maybe you're vanilla. Maybe just sex is sex for you. But I know like. When I want to be on some kinky shit or real freaky shit, I'm not doing that with everybody. And again, it's not just really? the sex, too. Like, <laughs> he said, really? I remember Art Basel two years ago. There's a dude that was like, yo, come, blah, blah, blah. I'm here for a week. Like, I want you to come. Come see me. And Art Basel is literally like the baddest bitches in the world, right? Huh? And so, no, like, everybody's fine. It's also, it's not like this weekend of Memorial Day, but it's like, this nigga's there. But it's just like, it's still like, Art is sex, it's culture, whatever. It's some beautiful women. So when I was there, because I went, of course, I remember saying, I can't believe you really wanted me to come when you could be fucking a bunch of hoes. And we laughing because I said, oh, well, I am leaving on Wednesday. But he was like, yo, I didn't just like, I want some pussy out you. Like, I want to have fun with you here. And I think that's the thing, too. Yes, you'll meet some bitches there. But like, it isn't a sure thing. And not just by the vibes of sex, but like, being able to enjoy shit with that person. But maybe that comes with age. I don't know. Well, I think you just got to experience it. I, I just was saying that I think your game got to be weak if that's the case. Like, I, Your game has to be weak if you fly a woman yeah, out. Yeah, why would you do Explain that? Explain that. Because look, if you in New York, like, so when I was on my shit, when I was really running around, I would have a bitch in Flatbush. I would have a bitch. I would meet women in these places. Bruh, niggas don't want to fucking have to be out in the streets every night to have a bitch come on. Have to meet. They every fuck- night is not going to happen the first time? Why do you, do you Why mean? would you want that bitch every fucking night? You just met this hoe. That's another night. So that's another bitch. Do you got to go out and get another girl? That's I, 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 think that's, get? I mean, I, I think that that's the thing, too. And we talked about people who enjoy partying. You see, even when I'm on tour and I be tired, I get a little second wind and a bitch will end up outside. So if he's yeah. going to a city like if where you he just knows he's going to be out every night, yeah. Why he's would confident you? that every night it's not going to be hard to meet I somebody. I think it's an L.A. thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's a way we we really believe it and we carry ourselves. That's why we are I also think it's an L.A. thing because this should be in the earliest fuck. I'd be like, I just got here. It's 2 o'clock. Yeah, I'm horny now. Let's yeah. go do something Bro, else. I'm gonna tell in you, New York, I'd be tired. We'd be outside till New 5 a.m is the best dating Bro, experience in the world. I love world. it. I love New really? York. I never want to leave. You can fucking have dinner with a nigga. One of my favorite episodes... You can date three niggas in one night. It's Sex great. in the City. Do you remember when she went to dinner <laughs> with that nigga at midnight? That shit is fire. They went to an art gallery at 2 a.m. Like, I did see that episode. Just I was episode. watching. The episode is on a Delta flight right now. That's the only I know reason it is. I know I just about it. it. It's on a Delta flight. I was flight. watching that. I was watching part two yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, that is part on one Netflix, and two. Netflix, right? Mm-hmm. So part two, the Sex in the City movie, and she was mad because old boy went to sit up and watch movies and shit. And she was complaining about it the whole time, but she got this person to marry her. I was telling him, I love that women want to marry. <laughs> no, because it's, it's funny. The homebody yeah. nigga? Carrie. So Big and Carrie, that's because they named Big was in the streets, though. Right, Big. Because, yeah, Big was a real player. But <laughs> Carrie, right, she was like trying to live a single life being married. And mm. I was telling him, women really will pursue we that. Just we just talked about it. Women on, will really try to pursue that shit. What, what, what does that mean to you? So when, so we just talked about Weezy really wanting a partner who can party with her. Now, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, Hold go on. ahead. Tell me it's funny. Okay. Here goes it's funny. Women. I ain't hate. So, I'm just laughing. Get shit with you, right? No. <laughs> Who, I, you know the men in the room are laughing. I am a woman that's on the go. I've never needed a man for new experiences in life. Sure. If I feel like eating sushi, maybe I'm too tired of the fucking sushi in my neighborhood and I do want to fly to Japan sure. and done it and been. Right. So like to me, it's a nigga that's going to get ready to get up and go. I want to have these life experiences with someone, not because you got to be single to fucking live, you know? And I think that being able to socialize and be extroverted is something that we look at as being in the streets or being outside. Or like, being a hoe and it doesn't have to be that. Like, I love moving around with my nigga. I mean, shit. What? Powerhouse? You just like moving around. Why can't she like, like moving around with a partner? She don't like moving around with a partner. She like moving around. No, that's so, absolutely not true. So this is what we're talking about, I right? I actually just had this conversation with a dude that I've been dating, sleeping with. 
I was like, I feel like I'm the only bitch that likes going to a party uh, with her man. And, and he's not my man, but you know what I'm saying. And he was like, no, you're not. He's like, every bitch I fuck with, like, love taking me to the club with them. He's like, girls fucking like being out with a dude because they're tired of being out with their homegirls looking for niggas. Like, you want to go out, dance, have a drink, and know you're getting fucked after. And it was You that. have to go through that. It's crazy. I want to ask you, your, your face looks really perturbed. I want to ask you, as a man, because we did just have this conversation as two women, only speaking for women, and what we would like and how we thought men would view it. And I definitely said men probably would think this is an unattractive thing about And me. I didn't it's think so. So I want to ask you, though, if, like, why you don't believe a woman can party and want to do those things that she enjoys single with her partner? Because they're single things. The purpose is to attract attention. You think going out to, to clubs dancing, like, like dancing and drinking is to attract another, which we talk wait, about wait, that wait. often. Let's, let's cut club, club out. Because you could dance live to music. Event. What about live Concert. events? Because you could drink, dance to, you could drink, so let's say a club. You could drink and dance to music at home, but you want to be in a social environment of a lot of other people. Yes, that doesn't mean we want to be chose by a nigga. I didn't see It you. could mean as an extrovert. No, 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 this is LA shit. Now no. I understand. Okay, sure. talk to me. This, this is, this is LA, right. New York shit. Our apartments are so small. Don't oh, laugh. Yeah. I'm being serious. <laughs> no, are. yeah, facts. facts you are, are genuinely confined to a certain space where, like, it isn't enough. Like, me and my ex nigga, we were together three years. He was in Brooklyn. I was in the Lower East Side. Both of our apartments were small. Beautiful, but small. What do you do when you need to get a little air? You go outside. You go downstairs. That's a camaraderie thing and a cultural totally thing. Totally agree. Huh? Totally agree. I really think New Yorkers, like, fond like that. But I'm I saying... I mean, to me, though, I also, like... With, with each other, not but, other people. And see, that's the difference. With my partner, I would enjoy us going to a bar. We're socializing with the people at the bar, the bartender. We used to like to hit on bitches together. It was fun shit see? for us to do. But you don't think that y'all, you don't think y'all are social butterflies to some degree. And then at that point, you just want somebody alone for the ride to social But But that's the thing. You. And that's what we said. We would love to not have to dim our light to be with a man, to be able to still enjoy life. Life is, we only got one to live. Let's I know be very what you clear. Feel, I know what you're saying about like attention and going out. And when I was younger, I truly believed that to be a thing. But in this moment, like now, I'm single, I'll be going out. I'm not be, trying to watch my words for no, nigga. no one listening, right? Like I'm talking about myself and what I like. Yeah. And I've really learned that, nah, I I don't really get numbers in clubs. I don't know the last time I've done it. Like me neither. I, I can't really hear go, you, nigga. I, I can't out, hear out no, of my left I, ear. Put on a cute dress. What you saying, nigga? I work honestly, all week. I want to fucking be out here some music. To give y'all credit, I honestly don't think that's your complete intention to get everybody's number, but you do want a certain level of attention and looks. But we were just saying that if you meet the right nigga, the right nigga gonna make you, nothing else is gonna matter, just that person. But why sitting in the house? Why, how is yeah. that living life? How is that living? I agree. Because how, life is to be experienced. It's the human experience. To, exactly. Together doing all things that shouldn't be classified as single bitch shit or wifey shit. It's a reason it's classified as that, right? Because it's the attention of strangers. Like when women, right, if we talking about like dressing or attraction, right? Y'all kind of conflate beautiful and sexy. So then a lot of times y'all literally, I know it sounds crazy, but y'all conflate the two. And what happens is some of the things you do, you still want the looks, even though you're with your partner. You still want people to see you. I think that that's the problem that I think a lot of men, if we're using the word conflate, mm -hmm. they do that. Like, I know so many things that women do because it makes them feel good. So we're not talking about the BBLs and the, and the alterations of people. Real, yeah. No, but in terms of like, I've lost a drastic amount of weight. Sure. There's things that now I can put on and I'm, I just want to put that shit on. I know that lashes, women like lashes. You niggas hate these motherfucking caterpillars on these bitches' eyes. Yeah. We do that because for whatever reason, we like how it looks. The lace wigs, y'all niggas can't stand it. Y'all be like, I see the shit. We do it because maybe we want to switch up our look. There are actually so many things that women do for women and not for the attention of men that I think are conflated to where y'all think a bitch is just trying to look sexy and fire and get attention when those are really things that women do because they like how it makes them feel I, about I don't themselves. even think that a date night can exist if I'm spending too much time in the house. Like at some point, I need to have something else beyond the four walls. You know what I'm saying? It might be a little too simple for me. And, and that is, and it's something I said to Mandy. Like one of my homeboys said to me, the reason that you probably haven't ended up in a relationship is because you're meeting niggas that like being outside. Girl, you just got single this year. It's true. Two years ago, no? No, bitch, it was, oh, this, was this, the top of the year. No, it was not, bitch. I have not fucked that nigga since 2021. That is a lie. 2021, bitch, it's 2023. 
I know. It's been two years we've been broken up. Ain't no motherfucking way. Bro, I was talking to the Dreamville nigga last year, remember? I was going through a breakup. Dreamville was in April. That was last year. Holy you don't fuck this nigga. I've been broken up with him for two years. Bro, ain't no mother... You was at least fucking him last year, bro. No, I saw The way my he was mother, so upset Mandy. about Maggie, bro. Ain't no way. You met Dreamville in April. Because I know. Okay. I don't yeah, I was upset about the fucking breakup, but that didn't mean I was fucking with that nigga. I was with him three years and he started fucking some random white bitch that was married. Really? So you ain't fucked that nigga at all last year? No. We almost two years without you getting that dick. Bitch, we don't, We record this too compact. Okay, so let me I, make... <laughs> y'all something else, yeah? Let me make a point. Okay, bitch, you here from a breakup for a long time. You gonna see? Uh, I'm over it. I'm about to stop being celibate. I'm about to get me some dick. Okay, so I'm one... I'm sick of being celibate. So one, the point you was making is great, right? That's true. It's not always for male attention, but sometimes it's for female attention. Actually... Most times it's for female attention. It is. So therefore, it's still for attention. I only accept compliments from women and gays. So again, I don't even think it men, all men goes back the to the face of attention, right? It's the space of attention, which is important. Because if you understand that, you'll start understanding why you move in certain ways. I don't. I guess I don't necessarily look at that as like this notch on the belt of like, oh, that's a bad thing about this woman. Like, I think it's, if it's we... Not, it's not It's not bad or good. It's just you have to recognize that. And guys Why is that a problem with, for guys, it's, though? It's not a problem. They just... The problem is... You, so y'all not being honest to say how much every what everybody else thinks matters. So then guys sitting around like, well, why are you doing all this? But they think it's always God's attention you have. I don't know if this is maybe related to then the experiences with people. Like, there's really not a moment where I'm out with my nigga thinking what someone else thinks. It, I actually hope it just think my nigga look good. That's why I'm shallow. I, 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 mean, want, I want women to be looking at my nigga like, damn, they look that's good That's not as fuck. the intent when I'm out. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, that's my intent for being like, with a nigga that like, look good. My intent when I'm out is like, oh, I want to have fun with you. You know what well, I'm saying? we're out, yes. So, like, I'm more worried about that than anybody else. Like, I really don't care. But um, if, I guess, you were, like, talking to me about how people viewed me and this person, like, possibly, the, the main thing that I actually care about when going out, I recently went to Blue Note with a nigga in front of a mutual friend of ours. My friend is 50. Mm -hmm. And he said to me, I love seeing him like give you attention. Like it was, he, he was a very kind man to you. Like I saw him kiss you on the cheek. I saw him touch you. Like, I think that's a nice thing to see a man do for you. Mm -hmm. And those type of things, I like people seeing that like, yeah, the person I'm with is showing me love. Like I, I can't stand, I'll be noticing it too. I don't know if you do. You ever go out and you'll see like a couple together and the dude just seems very cold to the woman. And you'd mm -hmm. be like, damn, she looks so cute. Like, did they just get in a fight? Sometimes it is nice to see that loving energy. That might be something I think about, but it's never attention in this way like I'm craving it. I genuinely love having a good time and that's the shit that I want with a partner. Well, maybe that's part of your good time is getting attention. I mean, it, can, it can't just be dicks. You really think about this attention he shit? Is. It, he is. It's said, underrated. Like, with, with the listen, person. But listen, the innate desire for all human beings is care, right? We all want somebody to care for us. But if you look today, right, attention, uh, attention, and, uh, attention and connection are like they're they're convenient. It's it's plentiful. Like somebody could pay attention. A hundred years, if a nigga liked you, he had to walk miles or he had to put in a lot of work to get your attention for you to know it's he, easy now that he nigga liked just you. Got so a if, if he paid you attention, you knew he fucked with you for real, right? Mm -hmm. But if we all crave and care, so it's you're not fucking with all these niggas just for dicks. Don't get me wrong, you could like dick, but it ain't just for dicks. Somewhere along the line, you like you have to like the attention, attention that they're giving, they're giving you. you I mean, for sure. It, it starts with that because there's plenty of niggas you didn't fuck with too long that probably didn't fuck you the way you wanted to be fucked. It's definitely not sex because let's be honest. I'll work at some dick. We remember when I came in and I was like, it was okay. Well, he yeah. had to work at that dick. Good for you. But like when a when a person is great, like I'd rather go through that. And, it's, and this is me doing a podcast for almost eight years now, right? A sex sure. podcast. I've learned this that This is a like, sex podcast? <laughs> is it? Is it? I didn't know. Okay, go ahead. We're not gonna do that. Guess, no, go ahead. Guess where you are. So yeah, we talk about gangbang. Like, I, I actually like had to eat my bang. words a little bit. <laughs> not necessarily with dick size, because I still don't know if tiny is okay. But I will say, through over the years, I realized like my sex has grown better through feelings for somebody. So if I meet a nigga that's a vibe. Even if the first time isn't like crazy out of the park great, like I know it'll get there. Because for me, I've had better dick than better men. Okay. I've had really great sex with really mediocre people. Yes. So meeting a great oh, person. Same, bitch. That's a bar, bitch. These niggas really don't be shit. Sometimes they dick actually be better. Even That's though a it. lot of times we don't orgasm. 
the dick do be better than the person it's attached to a lot of the yeah, time. Yeah, but what? Because why would they have to develop a personality if all you want is some dick? I mean, I think that that's to say about women as well. There's a lot of women that lead with looks because men don't care about much else. They don't I care agree. if they have degrees. They don't care. They care about oh, I could body talk and about, face. I could talk about niggas in, in business forever. This is like a walk in the park. So right. I'm down. But I'm saying that's the point. So that's what I'm saying. The attention has to matter. You like, y'all both seem like social butterflies. Just meeting y'all right now, right? Y'all seem like social butterflies. You better butterflies. be in the fucking podcast. So, no. <laughs> no, they not. Some Look, cause so, if, so if you're going out, you just want your nigga to go out because you don't want to lose that social element. There's nothing wrong with that. But you got to also understand why the right nigga will make you, it won't matter where you at. So, no. Disagree. I really believe that extroverts and introverts exist. And extroverts thrive in energy from other people or, or, or situations, right? There are moments where creatively, and I mean, this is a woman who's created businesses, a fucking TV show, writing a book. Like, I've done shit in my life that needs creativity. I literally told Mandy, I'm, I was writing in a bar last night. Yeah. And I believe that when you're a person that needs that, if I just want someone along for the ride, that doesn't mean that the right nigga's going to make that go away. That's not what I'm saying. I'm but, telling you, the right nigga, it won't matter where you at with him. The right nigga, you ain't going to have to take him with you to write in a bar. You just go right in the bar. The right nigga, anywhere you at with him is going to be the shit. I don't believe that. It's true. I believe that this if comes I from lost somebody, some of the things that I do. So like how you just came and gave me, this comes from a nigga that had his own drug spot, turned his life around, became a successful rapper, blah, 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 blah. Trust me, the right person will make a lot of other things that don't matter. So you matter. think I could meet a homebody and have a successful relationship? No, I think you could meet a homebody and then you go, he goes out with you sometimes and you also stay home and be just as happy. Okay, Which that's different. No, it's kind of what we talk no, about. No, that's okay. Yeah. But you talk about, ne I was thinking like never. Because like, yeah. a person that's a homebody. I think it's is, all or nothing with yeah, relationships. Yeah, it's not, yeah. I, I do think though that we'll get into relationships and unfortunately a part of the compromise is doing things you kind of don't want to do. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately but, but the with the people I'm that you, is, what you like the motherfucker you love, you're going to want to do it. It'll, it'll change for you. I'm sorry. I that's don't, real. If I don't like rock music, going to rock concerts because I like you. Shit, the right motherfucker. The no, right motherfucker gonna expose well, you into some crazy, crazy shit. shit. When you fuck with crazy somebody, shit. I can be, you take on their interest and I can, you're like, oh I wow, be, I'm happy you're happy. I can be exposed to something and be glad that someone is happy. This reminds me of the episode we have King with, with, with King Noir eons ago. Season one, bitch, year one. Literally, I came on and I expressed my love for Pretty Ricky. And he's like, I don't really like Pretty Ricky. But if I'm with someone that I love, I want you to experience Pretty Ricky and go be happy, whether it's not with me or not. Clearly, we were talking about nice. non-monogamy or, or whatever and, right. and, and in the conversations of being with someone else. But I'm not going to lie. If there is something that I do not like, I'm not a fan of headbanging rock music. I'm 33 years old. I, I know at this point what I do not like. But that's being in a relationship with someone, whether I love them or not, I would still want them to enjoy the things that I do not like. Totally and I don't understand. think that what they like, I will change to start liking it. We talk about that all the time where not, people not, shape shift yeah, I, in I, relationships. I don't think you're changing not, yeah, to appreciate it's not, it's something not that. differently. That, that's not what it is. Oh, right? you could go and enjoy something without me. Like the gym. Totally agree. Like, like things like yeah. I, bar class is the only type of workout I do right now. Yeah. But if you're into like the the berries and the shit that you do, like the CrossFit, yeah. you could go do that by yourself. I don't want to be pressured. Yes, I, do CrossFit, huh? I mean, I'm just saying, I don't want to be pressured into you won't be liking pressured. or doing things with my partner yeah. because that's what they enjoy. But, but, and I think so, it's fine to so let someone do what they want. I think you're like feeling really like headstrong yes, about this exactly. and all he's saying is it's not, when you're you not going to feel someone, any pressure. It's not black and white. It's when, not headstrong. All I'm saying is there's things that I don't like. Totally it's not that I'm going to be pressured pressure. to do it. Yeah. If I'm in a relationship, what I'm saying is what I don't like if I really don't like it because of my own experience, it's not going to change because I'm with someone that likes it. That's all. I'm not headstrong about something. Sure. No, no, no. I'm just saying where there won't I'm, be pressure. Yeah, it will be. It won't. Yes, it will. I mean, if it's not I don't rock think music, gonna I it's going to surprise you. That to me yeah. simple. Love, I, I, I gave the most simple thing. You no, know, I'm saying like love does make you want to appreciate that, person, that person's like interest. Yes. And like you, you start opening your eyes up to different things. Like, look, I didn't think I would have fucking liked tennis. My ex was into tennis. That nigga was right at Prospect Park, and I'm like, it must be a bitch at tennis. Like, I really didn't know what the fuck he was doing on his motherfucking court. I swear but, to God, this is funny. But because like, women really think they like they do. They bitch, always dude. think it's a bitch. What the fuck? This nigga going to do motherfucking tennis again? Thanks, boo. But like on some real shit. Thank you. I was like, you know what? I want to spend time with you. I know you love doing this shit. 
You, see, you end up going to that sheep like this shit ain't that bad. Like it's just, it really wasn't something. A lot I of times we say we don't like some. I don't think we really experience I'm, it. I will like be I, honest like with I you, hate but, I'm, but I'm not one of those people. If I'm telling you so I don't you, like something, it's because I experienced it. I don't like it. Did you fully I, investigate it, or did I, you just experience that? I am had a bad someone experience? who is open to trying anything. Once I say it all the time, like I'm open to trying a lot of things. If y'all been listening to this podcast for seven years, there's things I came on here and said I didn't like, and then once I really tried it out, I. I was like, okay, it's cool. I like it. I'm saying you never tried something the first time is, and then the second time you was like, it wasn't as bad as I thought the first yeah, time. Yeah, sex with a nigga that wasn't good the first time and he got a little better the second Boom. time. Sure. See, because you like that nigga but, a little but, bit more. But what I'm saying is... Boom. No, <laughs> he let that boy come. Bitch, I ain't like the nigga. He came, oh, you liked He it. came with his A game instead of his C it. game. You liked it. No, but I think that... But, you but, was receptive. No. Because if no, you like, double back... If you didn't like Because if you double back, it wouldn't be no part two. Well, no, because... You if, like the nigga. No, 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 no. Like, you know what? This nigga might not be that bad. Let me no, give him another chance. No, but you could see you, you could see effort. <laughs> it, not even not even effort. Oh. When you fuck somebody the first time, you could see if this could be better. I think that there are hiccups, A, with nerves. There are hiccups with shit. We didn't talk about if this nigga would even be into this, so I'm not going to do it. Like, there's a lot of times for the first time, you may not even think you better have sex with this nigga. I'm going to tell you, you what sucks about him, the first and time. Now you, and now you mad that you didn't do a lot of the Talking to even see what he's into. It's that dry, drunk pussy. That's no, that's the killer. E- even the you first time. You talk to see what somebody's into? Yeah. Like, oh, there was a nigga that I was just talking to recently, and he let me know he wasn't a rounds guy. He's one and done, and he's going to sleep, and bitch, I'll see you the next day. I got one round for you, bitch. You actually ask people And that? I'm good on you. I, you don't know what I you know for that a living. That's not, I talk about okay. Y'all you like, missing y'all missing so many like, great surprises and I don't want a surprise, nigga. I don't like surprise parties. Tripping, you I don't even tripping. like birthday parties. Leave it's me alone. It's nothing like meeting me a go. motherfucker. Listen, this is what I'm saying. It's nothing like going to another country, meeting somebody, and having a completely different experience. The only thing worse that I, I literally was just saying I is like I have no respect. I'm gonna say, bitch, but also I don't like accents, so we don't have to leave the country for this. But to me. <laughs> Bitch, I do not like accents. So what we doing? Let's say in America with my with with, with the niggas that I like. Thank you. To me, what? Yeah. I absolutely believe in talking about things beforehand because I've been so disappointed or have been with someone who's not into the things I'm in. I'm into the point where I've reached a sexually liberated phase where I know what gets me off. I know what I enjoy. I know the type of sex I like. So just going into sex blind for what? A lot of times That's you're left crazy. more disappointed than not. So to me, I want to make sure we're on the same, whether it's a kink level, you a chemistry level. Got to get rid of your level. sexual expectations because you're probably missing out. Sex expectations. I have sex expectations. Sex, you need to get rid of them. No expectations are literally. You have the no sex expectations in your twenties. You have no sex expectations when you're a woman that now is feels valued by a man wanting to fuck you. I now know instead of going into sex with a man who isn't going to please me, I'm going in. Knowing what I like. Yeah, knowing... I flip back on the Mandy side on this one. Yeah, because, nigga, in my 20s, I was going in with no sex expectations. I was fucking niggas from the club. I was fucking niggas on vacation. I was just fucking niggas because we got a vibe. Let's have sex. In my 30s? I'll tell you what my number one is actually here. right now in this moment. Sorry. It's fucking men that definitely are, like, centering my pleasure first. Yep. And... Same. When I say that, I've realized head, like, I feel like in my early 20s, maybe I was fucking too many Caribbean niggas. But them niggas was really scared to eat some pussy. And now, I have not dealt with that issue in years. Maybe because I'm just dating better niggas. I don't know. But I really don't have bad experiences with men not trying to get me off, trying to get me wet. They don't make me, like, feel any type of way when they're spending more time on me. Like, that's probably the biggest sex expectation I have in people because... I'm dating grown ass men. Like them young niggas don't give a fuck about getting y'all. Not, they but, do but think not. about this, right? Y'all know why y'all sleep with men. Y'all ever thought why men sleep with y'all? Because I just want to nut. I mean, do you really think that's what it is? Yes. yes. So there's a social, <laughs> so there's a social currency, right? There's a social that was the case they be fucking their bitch and not you. But Oh, they do that too. But but you, they gonna fuck their bitch, they gonna fuck you, they gonna it's fuck. It's a social currency, right, when you stack girls. For men. I'm, so I'm not gonna lie. As oh, women, so wait, wait, wait. Let me let him finish. Yeah. So, so this social is my currency. Point. Let's right? go. It's a social currency. Like, let's say if you give somebody some pussy, right? You got this successful podcast. Everybody, we all know who you are, and you give somebody some pussy. You just gave that nigga a boost. He like, that's, yeah, that's my little bitch. Right, no more. Yep. Right. So this is how it always been. This is what you always been, right? You a number to us, right? We stack you up. 
I know that sounds a little worse than it is. But think about it. Y'all, ladies, you are a number to these niggas. That's we, it. They because we speaking up. freely. Right? Okay. So you just a number. But that's my point when I initially started. Why would you... Like, that's why niggas can't talk to me. Like, even this version of me is nowhere near like that. I'm not moving around trying to fuck a bunch of bitches. I never was. But when I did, it's different. When I be in Germany, if you fall... We go to Miami, right? I'm signing cash money. I'm getting a Miami bitch. Because you can't tell me there's no way possible socially current, like, when it comes to the wealth of having bitches, you can't fuck with me if I got bitches in Miami and your bitches is flying out here. I would never fly a bitch that live 15 minutes away from my house, 2,000 miles to get no pussy. That don't make sense. It's not about getting the pussy, It's not though. about getting the pussy. That's the only thing it's about. For, for, y'all not for married, me. so y'all can... Like, I'll be honest to... with you. The rapper niggas that I know, and, and I'm not talking, like, these are niggas that's on tour, whatever they doing. Like, they like having a little yeah with them because they're like, yo, like, I'm moving, she moving, she cool. They, like, but they still just, trust me. Don't you even, could, but you could be getting a new bitch in every city, but it's almost like energetically that, draining. That, no, I was not. Say, it don't that, take an effort. I was about to ask that. Does it not become draining or even boring after a while to just be fucking these women that you just meet at the club that may not... They may only be fucking with you because you had three Casamigos bottles at the table. And how lit are these girls? Like, I mean, the niggas that I'm talking about are billboard charting. And I they, mean, that niggas be well, I'm bringing that up because they yeah, could have they any do. bitch they want to fuck. But, and they know that. I think but a the lot of girls that are worth it, sometimes ain't going to be no, at the- Ain't no such thing as pussy worth it. See, okay. this is the thing. When you reduce it down to just pussy, there's no such thing as pussy worth it. So unless okay. a nigga liking you and he with you, then what are we talking then about? That's different. So y'all talking a lot of shit about dick and pussy, but then you attaching emotion. If oh. a nigga fuck with what you, was, what was emotional about? Well, you said because about social currency. I, I'm just te- that's that's our so reason, that, but that's so for them. High, high value can a bitch be at your motherfucking show pressed to fuck? But you missing when a-, a supermodel is literally a flight away and will drop to you. It ain't tricking if because you got that means because it's not about the money, right? It's not the money because the point is if you fly, bitch, you could fly the baddest bitch from America to Japan. Me fucking a bad Japanese bitch trumps your popular American bitch. Because okay, it's a well, bitch that don't speak English. That's what I was going to say. So that's how crazy your gang got to be to bust a bitch that don't speak English. When I... Oh, I done been to Japan and fucked a bitch that was Japanese. Fine. You can't... Niggas going to go back home and tell said. every... Nothing. No words. <laughs> Honestly, I She just like knew she wanted the love and that like was it. less convenient home. than... Because now that I'm oh, thinking about convenient. it... it's super convenient. No, no, no. When I'm talking about convenience, about if a dude wants to like... If you know you got to do some dinners, do certain shit, like... It's better to have a bitch around your people, your team, whatever it is. That's a vibe that you already fucked with, that you, that no, you know. No, that don't make sense. Not if it's not your bitch. Stop white. You cannot. And see, that's How your if problem. It's not your, these girls know what they're there for three days, two we, days. Why before. would you have a bitch with you consistently that's not your bitch? Because some niggas enjoy spending time. Some niggas, but no, some that's niggas because don't. they wifing multiple women. So if it's just dick and pussy, you got to play it like that. If you start a relationship. How do you have to wife a girl just to enjoy her company? What do you, she's coming and staying? Look. She's not leaving? After? This is crazy. No, this is what no, I mean. No, because be, based, off, so well, based off of the forth. show, based off of the show, if it's about fucking, why are you here an extra day? You not my a girl. Nigga wants to fucking spend time. You want to fuck you twice? Is he fucking you every day? Oh, yeah, when I got so, food, so, yes. Yes. so you had a So you had a social status, like you talk about these niggas that's on the billboard chart. That's flying the same bitches somewhere. When they can have any bitch, you in all these countries, you're going to fly a bitch from home when you can literally fuck a bitch that don't speak I'm English. I'm not saying that he wasn't fucking this bitch, but literally, I was just on the phone with this dude last week. He was like, oh, are you in town? I'll have a show, blah, blah. And I'm See, like... See, that's player. No, now, no, if no, I no, stop in me. your town... I mean, I, I, it's I, I, I got flewed out to All-Star Weekend, so this isn't my... There's yeah. plenty of bitches ready, and I got flewed out there. Yeah. Like, so I don't like know like, your thought. But yeah. no, he's not flying me out. He's, he's, he's a friend. But he was talking about, I'm going to bring Shorty you met from blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, cool. He's like, yeah, she's going to be here three days and then we're going to kick it. So come, because I'm going to be partying. What are you trying to, what are you trying to get, get to know her? It ain't about getting to know her. The nigga's on tour. He's exhausted. He wants some pussy. He likes her. She's cool. She's fun. Why not keep fucking the chill, bitch? Why do you have to redo this new shit every night? And what if the pussy's Why trapped? not just be in a relationship at that point? This is, this is, oh, no, I don't I, even know You going to keep flying the same bitch to multiple towns? It is it, 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 without he, being in a relationship. What the? He got fuck? different bitches, but who cares? Why would you not just be with the bitch, bro? Why? Why do lit niggas need to keep fucking these random hoes? Like, don't you want somebody that makes you feel? That's a the safer? point of being when lit. When you fucking going to bed 
with your fucking money. That's the and your point of life. being I think lit. That's the thing we we attach a lot of emotional yes, connections. Yes, that's to the sex point of being lit. Attaching. I don't see what's how emotional are you about lit this fucking a bitch I mean, that's it, not your bitch. I, I will say it's emotional because as as a woman who engaged in a ton of casual sex, when I think now, like I ain't gonna hold you. Okay, this is coming out after. There's a nigga right now oh, that shit. wants to fly himself <laughs> to our show in DC. Bitch, I'm getting there the night before because me and Benny like to get there before. Like, and I don't think I want him to play out because even though I'm sure we could have sex, it could be cool. I don't want to be with that nigga for exactly more than Player. more than maybe we end up if we have fuck, you we, fucked him yet. No point made, bitch. You got confirmed good deal. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, but that's the thing. DC. An oh, old sugar daddy also wants to come. No, bro, we've absolutely tr- like that. I don't want him was to come. The point new dick, oh, and I gotta stick with it for two days. You telling me I got some dick that's already fucking lit? He's fun, and I gotta be in DC for two days for our show. You just be in multiple relationships. If a nigga's flying you multiple towns, bro, and Honestly, you gotta go to charge. I'm busy as fuck. My friends are busy as fuck. Like I'm in New York for a few days. I'm in LA for a few days. You gonna have to fucking fly to fuck. It is what it is. Why the fuck would he do that when his bitch is there? I don't. You mean to know tell me there's no good pussy there? Like pussy, I get. Them bitches it. ain't pussy me. is like good. P- what the fuck? So then, why would he just be with you at that point? Bro, niggas can enjoy company with somebody and want to exchange some energy, and it doesn't have to be something after. So you, you know? like this bitch? So you you like the girl? You want to fly the same girl multiple towns to be with him? You want to enjoy and chill with, with her? You're fucking you're them together. every day, you're and you're not together. Why? So then, that's the question for a man. If a man is going through all of those hoops and spending time with a woman, he's flying, lame. Why is he not just committing? You you think he's just lame? Listen, if a nigga gonna fly you from town to town, if a nigga or got a show himself, here, okay, I fly you somewhere. No, it's different. The nigga you talking about is putting in effort. He putting in a lot do, of effort to get that. Do you not person. like? And I'm not trying to say this. Like, I'm, I'm actually get, like understand. really curious. Sure. So most of my homeboys have probably like a roster of bitches, right? Sure. Um, that they like spending time with. Yeah, they get some new pussy, but for the most part, I know they're probably like the, the top three to five bitches they fuck with. Do you have a top three to five? You're telling me you don't? Glasses is, is different. Glasses ain't even with none of this shit no more. No, so but you I'm don't saying prime spend glasses time with women? horrible decisions. So this is prime glasses speaking. This ain't glasses as a grown-up now. As a grown-up, nigga, we don't talk As a grown-up, I'm, no, not speak, even y'all Speak as a 20-year-old, no, I'm talking about, know who I'm talking about even prime glasses in 30s. Like, this was crazy. I was way so crazy then, than that. So speak for yourself now. Don't speak for yourself now as a different. toxic I'm not ass even, fuck, nigga. That's not a toxic, that's a, that's a toxic ass, toxic ass, I'm on tour ass fuck, nigga, yeah, who don't want to sit here and, and so have any, be held to any sort of accountability and want what they want and want what, the new what, shit. I'm actually I ain't going to you. We mature. Talk about who the fuck you is right like, now? Are you How not you treating dating? bitches now? Like, a roster to me is like, all right, I'm not in a Talk relationship, about, I was but on there's tour with cash a few money. women I like I don't to care about I that I did not nigga. say I was on tour with Whatever. cash Whatever, I don't care about that shit. I want to know about... I'm telling you, as listen. As a grown-ass adult who done been a fuckboy, who done been I've a toxic nigga... I've never been a fuckboy. To your... Fuckboy shit is fucking... I've never, never been... been, been and that was fuckboy shit. Cause oh, y'all fucking crazy. So y'all can fuck all these niggas. <laughs> Hold up. Y'all can fuck all these niggas. But if I fuck bitches, I'm a fuck. So are y'all fuck girls? That's why we're whores. I That's have why. been. I have been. Okay. And, and we longest is accountability. But, we, but we've talked about the the relationships that we've held in our past. I'm whether just they saying, were transactional or not. I want to talk to you now though. As someone who yeah was like. I'm not flying no bitch out. I'm a fucking yeah, different like, bitch in every really city. Do you really not want to like lay up with a bitch? Like, do you not like bitches? I Are lay you up a misogynist? With my bitch. Are you a sexist? So if you have three or five, women, I'm not laying up with three or five bitches. That's soft and it's weak. You a sucker. If you lay up with five or six bitches, you are fucking fucked Maybe up. Maybe I don't like gangbangers. <laughs> this is crazy. No, I'm telling you. Why you would you kidding. lay up with so, five or six okay, bitches? For, so for, what, what, what's your cap? How many bitches? You lay up with your bitch. So and then the rest of the bitches you fucking leave. That's it. Wow. I'm not mad at that. Damn, I think I might be fucking a gangbanger. <laughs> That's it. He don't lay up with me. Why would you lay up with Rand? Why would you lay up with your son? Okay, Why would so you like, lay up with just girls? Just people like to fuck, right? Like, okay, for example. There's Which a, we used to talk about. There's a dude that I don't want to be with right now. And you be hitting him with that. What you about to do? No, 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 no. You Let never hit me with that. I, I'm t- I don't even want to say his name because I don't want to Please don't say his name. Now we don't say his name. I never say name. I mean like a nickname. Um, But you probably know what I'm talking about. But anyway, don't say his name. So basically... I know I don't want to be in a relationship with him, but we've been fucking for a minute. Oh, and like, I know you're talking I about. I can't Sorry. just, we don't just fucking he's out the door. Like, 
you know, we might have dinner together. We might watch a show. We might fuck, kick it that night. Wake up together. Like, why are you wasting all your lifetime? Like, ooh, how? It's one night. I don't want to just. You, but you've wasted this night multiple times. I'm ooh. not wasting it at all. Okay. I'm saying if you know you don't want to be with him. I really enjoy Let this person. Let me ask the question. Company. Hold on. I want to hear. So this, why you don't want to be with him? Why don't I want to be with him? Yeah. <laughs> if you really enjoy his company, you fucking him all the time. So why not be with her? I think that sexual compatibility has nothing to do with long-term compatibility. No, you even said you like him. Yeah, Y'all he's cool. Dinner. But like, Pisces, long-term she like compatibility. I don't think long-term we'd be a good fit, but that don't mean the nigga ain't cool or he's What do you mean long-term y'all wouldn't be? What makes you think long-term y'all wouldn't be a good fit? I mean... The, I, the anti-kinker? No, no, no. This is just probably like too deep for this combo, but there are certain attributes of my life or our personalities that just probably would clash in a deeper relationship. However... I don't really do well with like, fuck me and get out the door sex. Like, just because I'm spending my time with this nigga doesn't mean that we need to have like something on the dotted line or something to come after totally it. Totally agree. I spend why? time with my friends with no expectations after it too. Totally but agree. But I, it, it takes a lot to form a bond with no, like you got to be a cold, different type of motherfucker to form a bond with somebody with no possible opportunity of the future. So Ooh. like, I wish that Sounds that Sounds like niggas to me. Yeah. That's what y'all do all the I goddamn time. I wish there were a lot of men I'm that maybe saying. felt that way. Like, the, like the, from what you're saying, because I definitely think I, in my past, I've shared bonds with men. I'd be like, damn, he don't want to date. However, I do think there's a reality of you can date and it doesn't have to be marriage or relationship at the end of it. I think you can enjoy I agree. people. I, I don't know. I think so. While I understand the thought. Right. But the reality is, it's not like this. It's so much you only have to give as a human being. So right? let me ask you, I don't see a ring. I don't know how many kids you have but as a woman who does not literally my end goal isn't oh my god I want marriage nor do I want motherhood but I I I'm in a space where I want to date and I want to have a partnership or hold space with another person if you're sitting here saying no the end goal the end goal is I'm not what saying, matters I'm not, with I'm not saying that's the end goal okay Go ahead. so then what what does that look like in dating when your end goal is not what we've been conditioned to believe as being marriage, being wifey, being mother. If those things aren't there, if you're dating someone and those things aren't with you, again, I don't see a ring. Sure. Don't know how many kids you have. I assume a lot since you was out here fucking bitches in every other city. But, <laughs> oh, I know but, kids. But, so then, right now, not married, no kids. As a man at whatever age you are, what then would be your end goal to really form a relationship with someone that has substance? What do you What do you mean? What's the end? I, it's not. What is the end goal so for I don't, you? I don't have. I don't have the. Because you just questioned her we, about how well, she we fucking don't, a we don't with share, no end goal. We don't share. This, me and you don't share the same sentiments, right? Right. One. Um. I was always looking to meet the right person. Okay. So that was the only. The right thing. person would make you change your mind on the things you it's want. It's not basically. changed my mind. I never had a different mind. Okay. So that's why I didn't waste a lot of people's time. Like, I'm not going to... I don't agree with the sentiments of fucking the That might be person. the best thing you've said today. Yeah, all Look, of these things together Not that anything together. what you were saying Hold is wrong. I, I want to hear him finish no, this. I'm just saying sure. all of the things stacked together will make sense later, right? But <laughs> what I'm saying is... What I'm saying is that it was never like I was in a space where it's like, oh, I didn't really want to be with nobody. It was just I was in the world dealing with... Y'all. <laughs> so, damn you ain't shit. Here's the no, thing. No, not, not I'm like that. I'm looking for the right person, too. However... I'm not going to say because this man may not be husband material that I'm going to completely make my life lonely and I can't you have to be Obviously, you have a roster. I mean, no, I don't. No, I'm, no. I'm saying if you have multiple guys you're dating, right? Because this is kind of the That's premise of y'all podcast, right? Uh-huh. Then why have this guy that you have no interest in? That was the one thing that... So, like, sure, did, I don't want to be... For one, I don't think that every time I have sex with someone... If it do, there's no future there, I have to cut it. And for me, I don't really like empty sex. So it's very difficult for me to go out and just be like, that nigga's fine. I'm a fuck him tonight. I need some interest. Yeah, That's, I ain't doing that no more. Like, so you kind of fooling yourself. Like you, you kind of living in a space where it's like, I like him, but I'm not going to fuck with him. So this makes it okay. Why would that mean sex. we're fooling ourselves if, well, if we're actually aware acknowledging that, that this is not a person that then I see in a relationship? To be fair, things are different in a romantic relationship than it is just a sexual relationship. Sure. Like, there's like there's a person I've been fucking for nine years. I talk Why about him on the pod. Fuck? No, no, and when I tell you, in the very beginning ages of this podcast, Weezy was like, you want to be with him? And I was like, no, I don't. The way we interact outside of the bedroom 
his lifestyle, my lifestyle, I never thought it would make for a healthy relationship. But sexually, we have a bond, we have a connection, and it's great. And I want that. And I actually want it forever. It's like crack. Literally. But I don't want a relationship with that man. But it's like crack. And so I wouldn't say it's like crack because... I need some crack, dick. Look, not I want it's like crack. Crack. Not some crack dick. I know, if bitch, if I get some crack dick, I'm going to start looking past some shit. It's like crack. He got one leg. Yeah. Fuck it. He got a fucking... Uh, all all I'm saying is... Fuck it. Go ahead, finish telling me. So nine years, you fucking him, but you don't want to be with him. Yes. And so to me, I will... Do you want to be with him and you think it no, won't work? No, I'll agree with Weezy. I'll agree with Weezy in the fact that this is a relationship that I've acknowledged. I know where it's at. We have this type of friendship. We don't need another. I think that even we've... we've had a, have y'all tried? No. I I know we've spent nine years around each I'm other. I'm actually like really confused that you don't have or maybe you do but like you kind of realized that wasn't a fit for you but like women that you just fuck that you enjoy spending time with that's it's not that because if i don't want to be with you and i'm fucking you you know what i mean no matter how i can't enjoy that much of your time that's a really like interesting self-aware thing to say that's pretty i'm sober all the time so i don't drink i don't smoke i never drink early. i never smoke i'm always aware of everything going on so what i try my best is if i wouldn't fuck with you you know what I mean? I'm not going to keep fucking. Which we've talked about drunk I'm not dick saying and you wanting should, to be around people because that we shouldn't be around. What girls that just want dick from you? Because I'm sure that's happened. Yeah, that's just out. Oh. Yeah, that's out. If a woman just wants to fuck you, that's just out? She's not going to get no play. Why? I just, you learn the hard way. You know what I mean? There's nothing there. Because don't nobody just want no dick from you. They I want I feel like more. this is almost something like some, a lot of these views are conflicting. Because they're not. You just you just not seeing where they line up at, right? So if I meet somebody out of town, right, I'm not going to meet nobody. I just do. Uh, LA, this is this is an LA nigga thing. You really feel confident, so we attract women. That just sound a little more arrogant, but it's true. So no, if I I'm fuck in New Japan, York niggas, they they got the same brains. Exactly. Yeah. We, so we Big so city New York and LA niggas are really you know we arrogant. So we could go to Japan, and I know I'm gonna get a bitch. I don't gotta try. I'm not. It's not no effort. Like I'm gonna sit right there and I'm gonna chill and so do you my thing. But also the there's a layer from the, no, wo- from the I, woman, but they can't just want because sex from I see you. what it is. There's not a level. Of, a, he's fucking bitches when he's on the road. He said he's not flying out. You just want it to be one well, and done. He's probably not having multiple times with the same woman. Secondly, I think that if you're arrogant, if you're confident, the idea that a woman is using you for just the thing that's between your legs oh. bothers a fucking man to the core where it's like, True. bitch, you're not going to come here and get what you want out of me because I run this. I'm in charge. And right. I think you that have to be in charge of yourself. There, and there's a level of arrogance. Well, I mean, I hope you wouldn't let a guy just use you for that. I mean, to be honest, we like use the each women other. you've been fucking. No, no. But I'm saying so. That's why you should see? be like, no. If a nigga's flying you, like, let's say if there's a nigga on tour and he's in L. A. He call you, fly you to L. A. He fly you to Minnesota. No, but to be fair, we talked. You about You should this demand as well. more. Well, well, we've talked about this as well. When <laughs> women not hop on either. flights, we I've been the person. Maybe not both of us. I know I've been the person to sit here and say. If you hop on a flight, if a man wants to fly you out, he's expecting pussy. Hands down. And so, mm-hmm. to be very clear, if you're saying that a woman should demand more, you know if a man is paying for a flight, you are expected to fuck him. So, I will say then, I understand by by Good. by that sentiment, sure. what you're saying. And so, he said, fuck that. I ain't even going to sit here and have a bitch be expected to fuck me because I'm flying her out. I'm going to be in a city. I'm, I got a, I got swag. I ain't even got to speak the language of sure. these bitches. And I'm going to get pussy. Do you not? It never has, um, and I don't have to be held accountable. want the, uh, like, for example, I was in San Francisco for our show. And there was a dude that I didn't work out with who was living in L.A., but I knew he moved there for work. I just was in the mood. We didn't fuck for male, like, company or e- even attention, right? Like, spending time. I'm not in the mood to, like, go trolling for dick. So I'm like, hey, I'm in town. Let's have dinner. I'm enjoying this time. We See, get- that's player. That's your L.A. nigga. I would not. I can rock with that. Promo. But like, you never wanted the company of a no, woman. No, player shit because you get what you want. Yeah, but so like, Without if I'm in New York, I would call my. Wants. I would call a New York like prime glasses. If he I'm in New York, I'm gonna call a New York. Give him nothing. Yeah. He definitely did. I fell asleep. So, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. So like, if he's saying it's player shit, it's because at the end of the day, you got what you want. Which I think exactly. if we sit here and listen to really what he's saying, he gets what he wants out of relationships, and that's where he's comfortable. Yeah. A woman is not gonna get anything more because. He's confusing them. I don't want to mislead him. That's an important thing. He doesn't want to mislead him, which I got, which mm. I respect that. Uh, very much. Which he doesn't want to mislead him. Mm. But also, because he's arrogant, he don't want to feel used that 
he's showing up for the pleasure of someone else when he oh, really ain't getting it You're going to take either. me to eat before you get this good head. <laughs> I'm weak. Well, uh, Glasses, I do want you to help us with our home mail because goddamn, we done flipped in and out of everything and there are questions for this one. So I want you to help us with this. Okay. Hey, ladies, I'm a previous home mailer. You read my last mail on the Daniel St. episode. Oh, hoes mail, y'all. The hoes mm-hmm. be emailing us. Okay. Home mail. If you want to send in home mail, please send it to horribledecisions at gmail.com. I'm oh, surprised it's... y'all don't got homemail.com. You need to start that. Homemail.com? Homemail.com. Listen, we get a lot of it. Hey, that's a good you. one. Hold, hold on. Hold. So this this particular <laughs> homemailer home said that we read her email on a Daniel St. episode, which I want to say was last year. I was the one with the bisexual drug-addicted boyfriend. <laughs> Quick update. <laughs> Quick wow. update. That relationship ended horribly. Shocker, LOL. And now he's having a baby with a white woman. Yay for them. So here's my plot twist. Since then, over the past two years, I have found my place in the fetish community. Men pay me to let them play with my feet and tickle me. It's a nice little side gig that has allowed me to put money aside that I was able to use to start my own small business a few months ago. And now I'm in the process of buying my first home. Now here comes the tricky part. Off them feet, bitch. You should have sent a picture though. Bitch. I met a new guy. He's actually great on paper and off. And I think we might end up making it official before the holidays. Problem is, he has no idea that I have this other life, which I have continued to live while we've been non-exclusively dating. Here are my questions. When do I tell him? Two, how much of his opinion do I take into consideration if he isn't supportive? Three, if he isn't supportive, do I tell him that he needs to make up for the lost income? As in, she'll she'll be in a place where she decides to leave this to be with him. That was what number? That was three. I don't mind stopping altogether, but I'm not ready to give up the extra income while I'm getting my business off the ground and buying a home. I would say it would be a help the next six months tops. However, I also don't want to lose him over something I know I'll stop doing one day. Help. As always, thank you, ladies, for all that you do and can't wait to see you soon. Signed, a conflicted hope. Three, you ain't about to take me out of the strip club with no job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you answered the number three. Number three is you gonna keep doing what you're doing because it's extra money and if you're not gonna make up for it, I'm gonna still keep doing it. I'll never right? forget hospital dick. Only man I ever been in love with. Like that. That's the only man you ever you, Like that. The I one was who left say you that. for that Jesus. I was shit. gonna you say that. You've been in love with that. a lot of niggas. No, I was nigga. gonna say that. She... Y'all talk like y'all ain't really been in love. I've been oh, in love. absolutely. I've been in love. With the wrong nigga. It's the best thing in the world. Okay. Um, when I was in love with him, uh, I was the signing... hospital a, man. Hospital dick, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I flipped my hair like that. I didn't get put in the hospital. Another bitch did. <laughs> so anyway, um, basically, we had a conversation about my TV show, Sex Cells. And I remember thinking like, yo, by season two, like, I, I want to uh, be pregnant. Da, da, da. And he was like, no. Right? Like, that's not going to happen. I'm like, well, I'm signing a contract on to do more seasons like it's literally in there by the way season three streaming now fuse tv uh literally this was before season one even happened and he said that's not happening like i don't want you doing this while you know you carrying my seed like are you crazy and i remember thinking like okay so i can't make a hundred grand from this shit but you gonna do what replace it like i think i'm building a fucking life for myself horror over the, this is how he knew me when i walked into the, the place that we met like Literally, this is my brand. So what are you going to do to replace it? And I, it's, I'm not selling my feet or stripping in the club, but like, I can't imagine if she's selling her feet and getting tickled. Yeah, but I'm saying like, I think about the strip club a lot because that's normally a, a job where we hear men want to stop women. I could not imagine a man telling me to stop my job with no replacement. And trust me, as someone to that fair, was... To be fair, for this specific person, this is extra income. This is extra income that... She is, just bought a house from it. Well, she's... She's working on buying a house, but this is the extra co- Didn't income. Did she just she, say she had? She's literally saying this is extra income. I don't want to lose now because I want to buy a house. I don't care. So she bro, has that's another a job. job. She has another job, but this is extra income that is essentially considered sex work. No, and likes a man. Do not let that nigga stop you. I would and love try to, to shame you. I would love to hear your thoughts, glasses. Um, because okay. wow, your thoughts. Is she a prostitute. All day. She's selling feet. She's selling feet, and she's getting prostitute? tickled. No, she is no. Um, what interaction do you have with worker. other people? She's a sex worker. Prostitutes are sex workers too. It, yes, but there are layers and levels to this. 
She is not being penetrated or going out as a street walker. Like, and I hate the hierarchy of, but I, yeah, she's I'm a asking. sex worker. But, and, and we shouldn't have the hierarchy. That's my point. There, there shouldn't be a hierarchy of it. She's, well, I mean. Because, like, let's say men are rubbing dick against her feet. Is she a prostitute? I think if, if he comes into meeting clients, that could be like a. That's a, different. A, a, I agree. Like, I, I could see maybe okay, someone being so, like a. But for photos. Hold on, let me see what it says she's doing. With no face, no case? Nigga, get over it. Well, no face, no case. Or, like, come up with the money. Well, that's my point. So I, I, I would like to believe that it's not just emailing feet. Like, because if it's just emailing feet, she shouldn't tell cuz nothing. She said, men pay me. Oh, wait. <laughs> Nobody here we know go. Her. Here we go. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm rereading oh, oh. it. Not photos. Men pay me to let them play with my feet and prostitute. tickle them. Okay, wait, so hold th- on. This is in, an in-person thing. This is not photos. This yeah. may be She's further than OnlyFans. This is an in-person. Oh, yeah. I still have my strip club theory, though. That's Here's fine. what I'm going to say. Okay, talk to me. When you're interacting with other people, I can understand somebody getting uncomfortable. For example, with this podcast, I don't feel like I have to touch anybody. I don't have to do anything. So if you don't like me talking about sex, get over it. If I have to show up somewhere, if my safety could be put at risk, if you're uncomfortable knowing that there's an in-person meetup, yes, somebody's allowed to have a say in when, whether they can handle it. Sounds like a hierarchy, too, again. Um, mm. No, but like, I do think interaction in person is like Sure, it's dangerous. Riskier. But it's not just, I don't think men's whole fear of strip clubs is dangerous, right? Danger. You, well, it's, you also it, it's what about, you said is the attention, though. Yeah. You're, you're, you're worried having about how people see a lot your of different men and how they yeah, see your you're woman. You're worried about seeing your woman, right? So that's why somebody could look, be with you and be on you and be like, I don't want you to talk about all the niggas you fucked on this podcast because he's going to introduce you to his friends as his girl. And it's like, you just this big old whore. It just glasses. We're going to run down the list. In a big old house. We're going to run down the list. Her <laughs> questions are. When should she tell him? At what point should she tell him that she's engaging in sex work for extra money? Maybe talking uh, how long a year? It doesn't say. She should have first told him. I was going to say immediately. Oh, she should have said it immediately. Immediately. Okay, so if they're talking now and she's really starting to like him, do you think it's too late for her to tell him? Oh, it ain't too late, but at the end of the day, you know he's going to have some kickback with you being a prostitute, Ooh. meeting up clients and shit. That's Girl, he about to see why now, you change your toenail much, color all the so time. So, Weezy, this is to you. <laughs> How much of he his opinion too. should he take into consideration if he's not supportive? Is that her man? This is... Oh, if he's not supportive. Uh, she has continued to live while... They've been non-exclusively dating. So they're just dating right now. Girl, I... <laughs> See, but... So that nigga don't want to be with you, but you want to be with him. Okay, so... And then he goes to try to blame you sure. and say, oh, but you do the foot thing. That's why I can't for be with you. Sure okay, so third one is for you. you, you, you like, but you have to say In that. a year, that nigga would have been with you. Now, now, here's my question then to both of you. The last question was, if he isn't supportive, should she tell him that she would stop if he makes up for the lost income? He's not even your man. Okay. But that's the point. I think that she wants to be, she knows he's about to ask to be with her. She, she liked, knows she's she liked a, kind of a prostitute Now, I'll say this, scene. though. I do think that there's some compromise in, in a relationship where, like, if I was seeing someone that I really cared about and they didn't want me to do something or maybe felt like that hindered us from a relationship, I would consider stopping if it was something like that. But that ain't the reason, bitch. It's, if it's been, let's just say, a year and he still ain't with you and then he find out about these people, well, he's about well, to throw it in your face. Well, or she could just continue to be in this situationship because she said she would only be doing this for six months tops. She wants to get the house. She wants to do those things. It's giving stripper. I mean, I think it's fine. <laughs> it's giving stripper. I think it's we fine. We know stripper that she did it for school. You know bit. you got a, if you I gotta got a time school. frame, if you, got a time frame and you want to buy this house and you want to save a certain amount of money because you plan to get out of this lifestyle and you're saying you have a date to get out, you could also just remain dating this man without letting him know everything out the gate, especially if this is a lifestyle yeah. that you choose to leave. Sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I, agree. I don't go into dating and being like, yeah, I used to have a sugar daddy. He helped me through college. He, I, yeah, used I, to, agree. I used to have sex for money. That's not, that's not a part of your life that you have to tell yeah, anybody. You're not supposed to tell people. So if you feel like you're about to get out, I genuinely think <laughs> that you're in jail, bro. I know. you about like, to get out. Like she trapping them feet. No, you about to get for out. real. Like you, well, I agree. Sometimes, sometimes people are a bit too forthcoming. Agreed. I got a homegirl whose baby daddy that. was I've in the street, that. right? And she said, listen, once this baby come, like, you can't be trapping no more. I know that's and right. he was like, well, That's giving BMF all day. Are you going to wait for me while I'm taking, like, figuring out a job? Are you going to hold us down while <sighs> I'm getting a job? And she was like, we talked about it. This was a minute ago, but I remember her being like, fuck no, he's a grown-ass man. And I'm like, bro, he's a grown-ass nigga that's been selling cocaine for 
I mean, he's 35. Like, how could you say no? I ain't gonna hold you. At least he's selling coke. I know a homegirl dating a nigga that was selling weed and these goddamn dispensaries is fucking up his business. Yeah. So I'm just like, bitch, he was a lit nigga 11 years ago. Man, support that nigga ain't got the nigga. same money Mark today. It down, honey. Mark you better it down. drop that nigga the market price for this weed is crazy I, now. I know, real. You know what? I, she shouldn't say nothing. Just chill out. Get your little money. Get out of it. Don't I tell agree. him. But my point him, is like, for real, I told her she should be helping that nigga if she really wants him to get another job. Well, you I, met him I, selling coke and you was cool with that shit when we was popping bottles, bitch. And now you're not. So. I agree. I'm not mad. She right. She right for saying what she's saying and he he's supposed to feel how he's supposed to feel. I mean, again, sometimes we get too deep. Like I was just saying to you, sometimes we get too deep into the shit and we be so far in and we get fucked up because we go too far. I know. I've been we, Like, there's no way if if a nigga, if you don't want a nigga that sell cocaine, why is you fucking a nigga that sell cocaine? Hello? Period. And you like if that? you don't want a stripper, if you don't want a sex worker, if you don't want a nigga that's selling drugs. Just fuck them and don't call them. But also, don't cream don't, pie. How about right, that, bitch? All right, all right. You feel what I'm saying? Like no, two. but that's my point. Yeah. See? Like, you got, like, and I agree with you, yeah, niggas. You know, she done made a baby with a fucking drug dealer. Yeah. Yo bad, sis. Just like right, these niggas who find these strippers and then try to pull them out the club. Bro, why did you keep fucking this bitch? Flying her to country, yeah, flying her around, <laughs> all right, flying this bitch All right, all right. Glasses <laughs> Malone, Thank you have a lot to say. Sure. Where can the people tune into you? What do you have going on? Because you didn't hear yeah, me. what's your podcast about? Talk, talk no to me. No ceilings. This is positive advice for people. You know, I told he is a part of Black Effect. our motherfucking I just don't family. Shoot. No, I know I'm saying. What's I know, I just don't shoot. I, mine's is all audio. It's so, all, yeah, he doesn't do video. Audio. Yeah, um, No Ceilings Podcast. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It's fun. It's interesting. Um, What's it about? We try to explore life, the darkest parts of it. Mm. And I give you a flashlight to help you see, like I was doing for y'all. <laughs> Just showing you how, no, like showing you how shit can be. I was trying to tell you little no, bitch. That's little not bitch. what I said. I didn't say that. <laughs> So, No Sellers Podcast, every Tuesday, iHeart, feel me? I just dropped on, a new Black album. Family. You know what I mean? I just dropped Cancel These Nuts. It's amazing. There's a song on there called I Mr. California. Love, I, everyone, California. so a lot of my, my team is in here today, yeah. but when I, I D's Nuts everything. Yeah. So, Cancel yeah. D's Nuts. Yep. I know that's And right. I have I a really song like called that. Mr. California that celebrates the fact that when I used to travel and have holes in different cities, that was my thing. In I wouldn't have to fly them anywhere because they would be there. Oh, wait. I got a random question that just came to my mind. Uh, I was on YouTube trying to make an outline for Mandy and I. Sure. Just thinking about all the red pill content for people that don't know <laughs> what that means. Sure. It's basically this like, you uh, gotta get better. Da -da -da. So there's a lot of like where to meet a man content. And the man, that content comes from no man. Sure. So as a man that's lived some life, you live in LA, where would you suggest women to go out and meet somebody? How can these girls step out into the world? Do they really like to meet dick or to meet a man? A man. A man. With money. Oof. See, they <laughs> just getting out of control. Look, I done added a little He's thing in there. Oh, oh, and good looking. Where would, if I had, if I had a daughter, Ooh. if I had a daughter and she was 20 and I'll say, where is she? You about to say church. No. No, because them niggas, niggas ain't shit. Cold. Them niggas in church be. You savage. Oh my, they be Satan, bitch. You know what? You, <laughs> Um, Good question, right? Look at you. Yeah. Stump. You about to bring it back to no ceilings. Because it gets crazy, right? The more you think about it, it's like, it's, where would I tell you to find a nigga? Uh, well, they don't exist. Yeah, it's I, not going to happen. That is what it's given. It's not going to happen because it's That's like... That's what it's given. Yeah, like, men, they mature. At, like, we mature at our own time. This is so hopeless. Y'all mature yeah. at 100. I was just with a 50-year-old and not mature. So what we doing? Bro? But why would you mature when there's people... Okay. If pussy is why easy, mature? This is why so mature? Sick. Why would you mature when pussy is so easy? The stock of pussy is so low. You can just fly a bitch somewhere and get pussy. Oh, which he said that's why he doesn't do why it. Why would you easy. mature? What's the point of maturing when pussy is so convenient? Be because you probably want more from that, re like a relationship. You want something fulfilling. I and hold keep you, in mind, clip. at the, the very end of the goddamn show, this is yeah. a clip. Why? The most why? successful people in the world Excuse me. Successful men in the world sure. are married. It's actually the opposite oh, but they for also women. Cheat. But they however, also cheat. that marriage literally brings not only stability but a different outlook on the type of life that you should be living. For example, one of my homeboys who makes crazy amount of money told me that marriage taught him that investment was a real thing. He said that he was having so many experiences 
with women that had nothing to do with building and that marriage taught him that life was worth it. Oh, he was investing time into too many people. Who? Just fucking hoes. But not only that, I will also say in terms of Mm. men, the same way that there's (laughs) value, the same way Uh there's value of being called a wife, men, when they become successful, it's almost shunned upon for them to be single. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing. Damn, I done finally made it. I done got some money. Let me sit here. I think all this shit got to be personal motivation. I think the person I am today is because who I want to be. So the person who I was is because that's the person I was. Even then, if I was looking for a wife, it'd probably be different versus now where, you know what I mean? I I found a person and it's simple as that. It's just simple. It's not deep. Uh I'm everybody who I'm the person I want to be. So I'm not on anybody else's clock. I wasn't on those girls' clocks. When I'm in Japan... I didn't shut them out. I thought they could have been somebody. Boy, you don't fuck some somebody... in Japan. You no, no, I'm Japan. saying just, just, this that, is a perfect example. Is from... no, Germany, that, yeah, no. You still remember her. No. That's the thing. You don't want to admit it. No. That bitch in Japan Every... turned your ass out. Listen, I don't have a ton of horrible <laughs> sexual experiences. Okay. So I don't have like what y'all, I don't, I have Lots. a dick, not a vagina. Like I have a, you know what I mean? It's, he it's... said he going to nut every time. You feel me? Like you going to back, you like 98 out of 100. For you me, mean, so yeah, like, like, I really can't stand men in this I moment. hate them. Like, I know I, I fuck actually that bitch. I know it's not fair. It's not fair. You can't it's not even, fair, You girl. have no advice to get women at all. <laughs> Help these hoes get a nigga. You won't. Pussy, stop You know low. what my advice would be? Stop putting your... out till you get married. Make no, somebody man. marry you Hold to get on. the pussy. I got needs, too. That's the, <laughs> that's the greatest advice I give you. Stop giving pussy away. On that note, that's the greatest advice I got for you. I'm hungry. You know what? Y'all, Glasses Malone. Y'all check exactly. out the No Ceilings Podcast and no, and on cancel the Black these Effect nuts. Network. Go they, to the CrimStore.com and buy a copy. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. no. no. Go to the CrimStore.com, get the new album, Cancel These Nuts, and I'm going to get them on No Ceilings, so y'all make sure y'all that. check that out. And also, y'all, look how dope this is. So he hand me yeah. a little cassette. Y'all pull the like, USB part I'm down. I'm like, yep. now what the fuck is this? Y'all, look yeah. at this. Yeah. Bitch. Go to the crib This is real cute. This is vinyls, real clever. I like go. it. Vinyls, cassettes, cassette, USB, CDs. Support the real, man. Fuck the fake. Support the real. Fuck the fake. That's what you yeah. said. Boom. Y'all make sure y'all support us. At Horrible Decisions, we are on Patreon. That's where you can subscribe and get bonus content. And you know what? If you want to hear our thoughts on this pod, we might talk hella shit about Glasses (laughs) Malone over there. So go on over to Patreon. I'm going to go over there, too. Go on over to (laughs) (laughs) Patreon.com backslash Horrible Decisions. Y'all support us. This has been yet another episode of Horrible Decisions. Bye. (laughs)